welcome to my room. And the camera's being weird and not focusing and I don't know why. So, and I can't tell if it's focused or not. And if she's gonna be weird, well, I don't know what to tell you. So, let's just get into it. We're gonna get into it, we're gonna go on in. I'll show you in my room. And, yeah, shall we just uh, follow me? Hi, welcome to my room. So, you've just walked in, now you're standing right next to my door. I will show you guys what's going on on this wall in a minute, but firstly, come over here. So over here, we have my Alex door set. You know her, you love her. Um, I'm gonna go in depth for sure, for the most part. So we have my record player up here. I used to have shelves above my record player, but they kept falling off, and this one low key is gonna fall fall off. But we've got my driver era um, vinyl the, with the scarf. It's cute, I wear that scarf as a top, but I just did not know where to put it, so I just put it there. Then I just have my headphones and a water bottle just sitting up here because I don't know where else to put it. I did my best to clean, but I've got like some other, some laundry situation happening currently, so. And some stuff, but it just does, don't know where to put. Anyway, so you have my Alex Rosa now. We've got more makeup up here because I could not live without all my makeup. So I've got makeup up here. Then I've got some more makeup and some clips and ribbons and such for my hair and my face. And then we've got my electronic drawer slash my YouTube drawer slash also my tights and my belts drawer because I realized that I did not, because I did not bring a lot of my YouTube stuff, like a lot of my chargers and my cleaning stuff and my stuff. I didn't bring as much as I usually have because I didn't need it all, so that was nice. And then I've got my witch drawer, which just has all like my witchy stuff, my lighters, my incense, my books, my etc. And now let's move down a little bit further, shall we? So it was this drawer that has witchy stuff, right? We're gonna go down here. This one just has some junk stuff that I just brought with me for literally God knows what reason. And then I've got some hair stuff and some random stuff. The farther you go down, the more unnecessary it gets. We've got some skincare further down. I don't wanna make my thing lower, so you're just gonna have to pretend like you see it. Um, and then we've got like books, like writing pencils, etc. I brought some candles and some jars and such like that down there. So let's move over to this area, the closet, and I'll show you guys that, and then we'll move on to this wall, and then we'll go over there. Cool. Okay, so this is what the angle kind of, I'm getting to the closet right now, but I'll go down lower, and then I'll also show you guys what's happening up here. So I have the rack, like where the closet like sits or whatever for the thing, is so high up for me, I just can't handle it. So I brought my clothing rack with me, and I've got like a lot of stuff here, and then I've got more stuff up here, sweaters, etc., long sleeves, etc and then i do have like up here i just have like random stuff like my scrunchies my most recent trophy some jars of coins which honestly i should take advantage of because i forget that it's there but anyway there's that now i'm gonna go down below okay so down here um i have laundry basket this one folds up so i only have it out when i'm using it and then i have another laundry basket over here i also have some vinyls over here because of the shelf situation i just got a new vinyl because i went to the wallows concert I got a new vinyl. I just want to show you guys because I'm really excited about it. And I got all my vinyls down there. Anyway, so I got the bins as usual as I usually have. Um, they're not really as organized as usual. They're kind of messy. I won't even lie. But they're there. And they're useful. Even though I, when you guys see my drawers, they're huge. So I literally don't need to have these here. But they're kind of fun. And if all else fails and I run out of room up here, I'll just start putting like t-shirts down here. Like stuff like this down here. But anyway, and then I got my shoe rack, who is absolutely so full, and I would love to do like a shoe collection for you guys, because she is so full, and then I also have like, two of them are in boxes still, like I've got my slippers are in boxes, my Steve Madden's are in boxes, I've got these giant ass dolls kill boots, and I've also got some run outfitters shoes that I've never even worn yet, so that's really fun and exciting. So, let's move back up, before we go back up, I want to just explain what's happening here, I've got two jack, well this is my sweater, my school sweater, that you guys are not allowed to see, because I keep wearing it in front of videos, and then not i don't know then i got my gray jacket my iconic gray jacket i thrifted this one you guys have seen it in a video i got this bag here you guys can't really see it but it's cute and i just hang them right here because i don't know where else to put them so let's go up so i've got my amsterdam my rome my glossier and my paris um tote bags we kind of just organize them based on aesthetic because the glossier and the paris one 
kind of match and whatever. But the my Amsterdam one is like so dirty, low key, but it's memories, whatever. But anyway, that's what's happening up there. I love it. This is all my bags that I did not need to bring. Okay, I've realized since moving here that I did not need to bring like a lot of the stuff to college with me. But it's fun to have and I like having my room be homey. So I'm like, whatever. Um, but I just got bags here. I used this one like on the first day of school. And I think there's stuff in it still. Like I got some hats in here. I gotta really take advantage of this hat. Do you think it would match this outfit or not? Because it's so fun. Because I want to be... We're going to wear this for the rest of the video. Anyway, so that's why I got one on here. A lot of them I don't really use. I used this one, I think, when I went to the lake. I used this one for concerts, but that one I really go to Salt Lake for anyway. But they're fun. I have this hat that I want to try to wear. But Okay, we're going to move on to this wall back here. Because she's my favorite wall. She is the best, I don't know, the best thing I've ever done. It's so good. This is the my favorite wall in my entire room. She is gorgeous. Let's explain. So we've got my Bella and Edward bag, the one that uh, Olivia Rodrigo has. She's gorgeous. I spent way too much money on her, but I love her. This bag I got from Depop. Love her. You guys have seen a lot of this stuff already. I've got scarves along here, just like the plain white one from Brandy. This one my sister got me. Glossier. This one has a stain, I think. I think I thrifted this one. I think I thrifted this one, but it's like not a normal scarf. It's like this. Well, not a normal like bandana like scarf, because that's how they use all these ones are. Anyway. Then I've got my Polaroid up here, the, the Loki falling out of the wall because we keep using it. Then I have this pull, this printout that my bestie got me. I hope you can't see it that close because it's of a naked lady in the woods or something. Um, and then I got this print from when I went to Amsterdam from the Vincent Van, from the Van Gogh Museum, and it's the it's this pretty plant. <laughs> anyway, and then down here I've got a shelf that actually stayed up. One of the few shelves that I of these ones that actually stayed up and I'm very surprised by it. Anyway, I have this. If this is a note that I got from the first time I ever taught a dance class. Um, it just said thank you for freshening up our dance skills and it made me very happy. And this is the first time I ever had a gig, like a dance teaching gig, so it was really nice and very motivational. Then I have these shoes that you guys have seen in my my recent thrift or my 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 clothing haul that I did um, right when I moved here. So, yeah, and then I have these glasses. These are my favorite pair of glasses. I got these in Vegas um, a while back. A Polaroid of me, you guys can't, hopefully can't see that because it has my school in it. Um, then I have a bear, my beret, and then I have this tote bag. She's a beaut. Yeah. Up here is just my drawer set. You can kind of see like these are really freaking big. I'm not gonna get into it because there's not much here. Um, but I'll tell you how I organize it. There's four drawers. The bottom one has a little basket because I thought that the drawers were not going to be an option or not going to be a thing. So I was planning on like different stuff. But I have like this little bucket and I had one of them have all of my like intimates, like bras, drawers, socks, etc. And the other one had all of my like Leos and stuff. But because my ballet class got canceled, I can't, I'm not taking ballet. It's like under my bed and I have not touched it. But the other one is just sitting in the bottom drawer because it's kind of gross. So I put like a thing down on the bottom and then I've got another basket that just has like medicines. Like I had a cold a little while ago so I have like a, my medicines in there. Some stuff like that. I don't know. Random stuff like that. I think there's, let's see. Yeah, I've got like immunity, not immunity, like focus shots that my dad gave me. I've got like this beauty collagen, some pads, I don't know. Random stuff like that. Hygiene stuff. I don't know idea. Um, then this, this up, the second from the bottom, that one has just pajamas and like extra sweaters that I didn't have hangers for. And then the, this second to top one, this, this one right here, this one just has like leggings, workout clothes, and then pants that I wear, obviously. The top one has just my giant blanket and... Um, what's it called? Sheets. Sheets and stuff. Sheets and things. From Glee. But it's in this drawer. Uh, my camera's gonna die. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this wall. And there's a little surprise on this side of the, the thing. I also have my TV up here, obviously. And you know what I'm watching? Gilmore Girls. And you know what I've got to show you? Something Gilmore Girls related. So let's move on to this wall. So I've got this bag here. Just chilling. 
but I need to show you what I put right here. I'm gonna take it off because I just barely put it on, but. This is a picture of my 13 year old cousin when she was like, I don't know, nine or something. But I found it in her room when she moved and I was like, I'm taking this and I'm gonna put it on my fridge. But I didn't end up putting it on my fridge. It's just been floating around my room. But I, today I decided that I'm gonna stick it right here. That way anyone who comes in my room and actually starts snooping will have a little fun surprise. Cool, so fun. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this hat on all day because I think it's kind of cute and fun. Silly. Anyway, I got it in eighth grade. Not in eighth grade, like seventh grade. I won it. It's so cute, isn't it? Okay. Let's move this way. This poster is everything. Truly everything. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. It's everything. It just honestly is everything. It's Gilmore Girls and I love it. And if you guys don't know how much I love Gilmore Girls and you guys are absolutely fake fans, that's all I have to say on that. I do have like a little, like a thing at the, like a poster hook thing because I just literally was like I cannot bear to let this thing get destroyed there's already a small rip in it when I was trying to get these things on but she's just too perfect honestly and I spent like too much money too much for a poster like 25 bucks but that's too much but I needed it okay um so I've got like my camera bag down here and there's a trash can down here in the corner just by the way I'm trying to give you guys like full understand but and then I've got a bag down here because I'm doing a little dance thing on um, tomorrow so i was packing my bag for that but that's about it there now we're gonna move on to my desk which is like the most i feel like actually my room is so fun and jam-packed but there's so much happening over here so let's get into that so i've got my ipad and my laptop sitting right here because i just do work and usually it's in my backpack which i forgot to mention i have my big camera bag and my backpack just like chilling over there on the other side of my dresser not a biggie so let's get into what we've got happening over here because I feel like you can see pretty much everything from this angle. Okay, so up above my head, we've got the, my most favorite thing. And I will be shouting out Tyrell and calling him out, honestly, a little bit, but it's fine. Okay, so this is my, um, moi. Tyrell has, okay, one of my favorite YouTubers, Tyrell, has a brand called moi. And I got this when, my mom got me a shirt from moi. Love it. Super cute. Um. But then I was trying to become one of their like ambassadors or influencer, I don't know, whatever. But they were like, T -t 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 whatever. Um, but they sent me a discount and I got that. And I love it, honestly. I'm so happy I was able to hang it up because I didn't have room for it in my room back home. So I'm glad I'm able to hang it up here. But I am going to shout out Tyrell a little bit and kind of call him out. For one, I texted him and we were like... Okay, I'm just gonna do this right now. I don't even care. Cause I would just. <laughs> I also really, really so badly want Poppy to sponsor me. But I'm a little bit pressed right now because I texted Tyrell on Instagram. And I said, I'm dead serious when I say my life goal is to film a YouTube video with you or get at moi to sponsor or collab with me on a video. And he goes, I'm very down. He goes, I'm very down. And I was like, you know, I was freaking out. Because I live fairly close to where he is from. So I'm like, when you're in town, come to film a video with me. And I said, OMG, I'm so happy I got a response. I have tons of ideas. He likes it. And then later on, like, I don't know, a couple, 20 days later or something, I go, I replied to a story and he hearted that too. And then he came back and said, um, or he also said, yep. Yep, I have three backups. Oh, I said on a story, I get go, best thing I learned is always have backup to back up your hard drive somewhere else. I use Google Drive. And he said, yep, I have three backups now, LMAO. I had an online backup, but of course it canceled when I got a new car. The cars, I don't know. I, just, anyway, he was the same stuff. And then I was like, no, that's the worst. And then I said, so I'm thinking I could do a YouTube video styling mall for college. Or we could do, uh, do one together interviewing college students around campus. And then I told him what, you know, school to do. But, um, he just saw it and didn't say anything. So I'm a little sad about it, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe he'll come back and message me when he's in town. Because I think he's in LA right now. But I want to be his best friend so badly, and I feel like we could literally vibe. I feel like we could vibe. So Tyrell, if you're seeing this, vibe. If you're, uh, Hunter, one of his best friends, Hunter, if you're seeing this, let him know. And Hunter, honestly, I would love to have you on my channel. So... 
shout out to him too because he subscribed to my channel after because he works for more with tarot and he was the one who was emailing me and he like subscribed to my youtube channel he's commented on one of my youtube videos he also follows me on instagram we are mutuals on instagram and it makes me so happy because he's just such a fun vibe and i genuinely want to be his bestie too so we've kind of texted before but not really anyway let's get back into what i'm doing poppy i've been drinking this prebiotic soda strawberry lemonade strawberry lemon basically strawberry lemonade highly recommended poppy please sponsor me okay let's get into this again so anyway, right underneath me i have this evil eye just hanging here i just barely put this here because i don't know where else to put it and then i have a little card that i just found somewhere i have no idea but it says amazing people can do amazing things and then on the inside it says keep on being the one and only you and i just pinned it to my wall because i thought it would be cute and then right here i have this one this is like a pin board thing you guys have seen it before i've got i put a little pin that says i heart me in there and then there's a picture of polaroid of me and my here i'll show you this polaroid of not a polaroid it's like a i don't know what it means. maybe if i hide my face anyway that's a picture of me and my sister when we were younger i put that right there and my thing just says do do youtube and then dance because it makes sense to me and i got lazy so <laughs> there's that and then down here we've got some vitamins i already took them i got some brushes i've got dry shampoo and a lint roller and the battery pack that's attached to this thing is right there too and then i've got those and then i've got my mini fridge you guys want some in-depth tour of my mini fridge i also have my deodorant it's secret but it's the it's the antiperspirant and the deodorant because i realized that i need to be using both anyways and then i've got this polaroid one of those things those strip photos of me and my sister and my dad right there but anyway you open up my mini fridge and we've got a gua sha we've got there's, I don't know, I went and did like a skincare, I did a facial right before I went to Europe. And they gave me, I got, they gave me, I paid for it. I paid way too much money for it, like 50 bucks. For this like skin thing. But this is a probiotic mask, clear skin probiotic mask, clear skin. It's eminent, eminent, I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, organic skincare but for problem skin. So I've been using this lately. I do this day and night on like my problem areas. So mostly just like down here, I've been breaking out a lot and like right here and here and here. Um, and like kind of like right here, but not as much, but clear biotic, this is a moisturizer and then this one is a cleanser and I haven't run out of my moisturizer or my cleanser. And I might just switch to this when I run out just so I don't have to buy more, but anyway, and then I got a mask and that, and then I have this. Can someone let me know if this should expires because I have this super glow um glossier serum but i've had it since like 2019 yeah i've had it since 2019 so that is concerning a little bit and then i've got like a the this thing i think i might already said it's gush or whatever it's called i have no idea and then i've got like a, some under eye patches i stole from a kit my dad got from the airport i've got a trying sleeping mask I've got another sleeping mask that I've also had for like ever, but she's running out, so maybe I should use her more. If I use her more, I'll run out. But it's the watermelon sleeping glow mask. And then I also have one of those under eye patches from Pixie, I think. Yeah, Pixie under eye masks. And I love these. I got these briefs like recently enough to where I know they're not expired or anything. Anyway, and then over here I've got more stuff. And I would zoom in for you guys, but that's a lot of work. So I'm just gonna tell you. So back behind my thing a little bit, I've got like this which i love like i had this i don't know what i had in here before but i had it in my bathroom but i put um chapsticks in it i swear i had more than this though i used to have like so many chapsticks but now i just have these and they're nice and i like to have them oh like that I just put them behind here because i don't use them that much and then i brought my favorite perfumes i brought the daisy love and the daisy um by mark jacobs the mini versions and then i've also got this one that my dad gave me I don't know what it's called. It's called Boler Boleri or something. It looks like this. Kind of looks like two chains. I don't know. But it smells really good. My sister got the bigger version. I have the small version. And then we've got the Ariana Grande cloud one. I like this one. Anyway, I like this one a lot too. So I use those. And then I've got like 
these little things that I kind of, I won't even lie to you guys. I took these from Teppanyaki and Teppanyaki, if you're hearing this, don't even come out at me right now. But you know how they put like the little sauces in these? I took two of these. I took a blue one and then this one, pink one. And I put, in this one, I just put like my mini, my mini Daisy Marc Jacobs and my mini fingernail clipper. I put a little, one of them, one of these, this Marc Jacobs like this. See, cute. And a clip. Anyway, and then on this like little slab, because that's what I had my um, perfumes on before, I put, I have like the things, I, the makeup I use the most. Like I should probably rotate it so I'm using other makeup, but this is the makeup I use the most. So I've got my Dandelion um, blush and I'm like literally running out. I just called this, I thought, so I don't know. Um, and I swear to you, I just bought it. But anyway, um, and then I have the Fenty Beauty um, so I have like, I try to keep like three blushes option or five, four blush options right here. And then two highlight options So I have the Fenty Beauty highlight. And then I have the REM Beauty highlight. This one is in shade Miss Mercury. I love that one. And then this one is the Fenty Beauty's Diamond Glow. And then I have my Bare Minerals, um, Warm Light Dry Foundation. I absolutely obsessed with it and it is my everything. And then I also have the... REM Beauty blush. That's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the REM Beauty blush today and the REM highlight and the Bare Minerals. And then I'll tell you guys which thing. And then I also have the Milk Makeup one also out here because I like that one. And then I also have my Glossier Cloud Paint in shade Puff. So I have that. And then I also have like Q tips and my Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, which I don't think really works that well, but it's there. Okay, and then I have this jar that says all good things are wild and free. And then right in front of that, I have my eyelash curler. And I have two hairbrushes for some reason. And the mascara I've been using lately is the Lights Camera Splash by Tarte. Um, it's the waterproof mascara. I love it. And then I also have like the Milk Makeup mascara in here as well. But then I also have this, which I got when I did my skin, the like facial thing right before I went to Amsterdam and it has a, been an absolutely lifesaver. It's called Skin Cuticles um, Physical Matte UV Defense Sunscreen. And the sun, it's like not like sunscreen. It's like, it like reflects the light rather than taking in the light and then putting it back out. So it like doesn't harm your skin even. Like it, it doesn't let you get sunburned, but also doesn't harm your skin. So I use it every time like I go, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the sun. Like I haven't been doing it lately because I'm like inside a lot, but if I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the sun, I do. And I, it has been a lifesaver. I wore it the whole time I went camping. And the only time I didn't wear it, I got a sunburn. So, highly recommend. And then I just have the Milk Makeup one there. And then I also have a Opening Act Lash Primer by Tarte. And then my favorite gloss is just gloss from Sephora. So, and then I have also, I just barely restocked my Star Patches. My, um star pickle patches so that's all restocked and then i also obviously have to pick up something from ashley tisdale's new wellness line frenchy or being frenchy so i'm obsessed with it i got the citrus amber hand serum and it is honestly so amazing let's put on some right now but honestly it is like so nice and you barely need any and it like just it makes my skin feel so nice and it smells so good so i highly recommend it if frenchy wants to sponsor me too they should as if like i've also have not posted in months like, I have not posted in months. And I will get into that at the end of the video. I have a bunch of papers sitting right here. But you guys can't see it. So, let's pretend it's not there. We're moving that. I have my face my face lotion right here. Because I just wash my face. And then I just come in here and do whatever. Because I need to put on the serum before I put on the face lotion. And it's easier just to kind of, like, come down here and do it. Anyway, and then we have my classic um, jewelry stand. Not much has changed on it, honestly, besides the fact that I have this little thing that, I, like I said, the blue one that I took. And I just put my rings in here because I can't fit anything else on here. Just put my rings in, so I just put it like that. And then we're going to move over. Oh, let's go up here for a second. Up here. So I've got a painting that my sister did. And then I have a dream catcher, a evil eye, this strawberry person that I made, um, this little flower thing that my mom's friend made who i also like a family friend made i don't know and then this little like plaque that says always remember you are braver than you think stronger than you seem and are loved 
and loved more than you know. My mom got it for me for my birthday, and I find it very funny because it's like very like, like Carrie, Carrie, that's my grandma's name, Karen, stay at home mom esque. I find it funny. But anyway, let's go over here. This is my bed. I'm gonna show you this pillow because this is like the comforter theme I've got going. Um, and I will kind of show you guys my bed from afar too if you want, but well, as if you're gonna tell me that you want that. Anyway. Okay. Okay. So down here I've got like this little cubby and I just put like my blow dryer, my hair straightener, this little bag with like bobby pins and hair ties in it. And then I've got like my, this is like my extension cord. So I put like the extension cord just like in it so I can reach it easily. I have my blue light glasses. And then I also have my body lotion because I don't know where else to put it because I don't want it in the bathroom because like why would I, you know, I have to conceal myself when I'm naked like that. So I gotta be in here. Anyway, now let's go on to what's back here, shall we? My water bottle, but that just floats. I have this, my wax melt. And then I've got a candle here and a candle here, just some candles. Then I've got this little like bowl that holds like more wax melts. And then I've got this picture of my parents. Isn't that just so funny and silly of me? But, oh no. And then I've got this cute little vase that I stole from my house. I was like, dad, I'm taking this. And he was like, okay. So I took it. And then I just found this and I just put it there. It's just my bestie telling me how awesome I am. Then I have my, this big candle that I got in Costa Rica, and it is my favorite thing on the planet. It smells so good, so I really should light it. Then I have this heart bowl that I got from Target, and I put all my coins in it. I had 40 bucks in quarters for laundry that my mom gave me, and we are already out because my bestie was using it too, which is fine, obviously. And then she gave me 10 bucks in quarters back, which is great, because I have so much laundry to do. Anyway, so, back here, I'm gonna bring you somewhere closer. So now that we're over here, and it is darker, um, I've got two crystals here. This one, I have no idea where it came from, to be honest with you. And then this one is, what is it, amethyst, I think? I don't know, but my dad got it for me for graduation. Look how gorgeous she is. Gorgeous. Anyway, the lighting is really, really bad, but you see. And then my dad also got me, or my sister, I think my sister picked this out, but she got me, like, this, like, homemade paper book. And I'm afraid to write in it, to be honest, because I write some dumb shit sometimes, and I don't really want that to be permanent in such a pretty book. So, it's just decoration for now. And then I have my, here's, I'll just tell you guys what books I have. I just have a bunch of books right here. But I have the book that I usually plan stuff out in, but I don't really, any much anymore. I don't really much anymore, because everything's digital. <coughs> And then this one says the magic of astrology. This one is the little book of healthy beauty. This is the book of sleep. I don't know if I showed you guys all this stuff. I did show you guys all this stuff in my graduation video. Then I have my journal that I've been journaling in. This one says buy yourself the effing lilies. This one is people we meet on vacation. I just started reading this one. But it was like two weeks ago when I started reading it. So I will try my best. This one is called recharge and just a reflection journal. This one is life goals. It's all like tracking your goals and like your habits and stuff. This one is an astro the astrology journal. This one's Pride and Prejudice. This one's Atomic Habits. So my goal is to read People We Meet on Vacation and Atomic Habits. Not just because they're my newest ones and the ones I really want to read, but whatever. And then eventually I'll get into like some of these other ones. And some of these other ones I gotta start like perusing. We will see. Anyway, I've also put a bunch of pictures here and I don't want to show you, but I'm gonna just tell you. Okay, this one says, make your life a story worth telling, right? This one's a picture of Rachel from Friends. This one's a picture of Heather. The he it's from Heathers, and it's of the Heathers. And this one's when she goes, F it. Anyway, this one's a picture of a ballerina. This one's a picture of Wallows, my one of my favorite bands. And this is a picture of flowers. We're gonna outro it. Cool? Cool. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I am going to just kind of explain a little bit. I've been in college. College is crazy. I've been so busy and I just don't even know what's going on anymore. But I filming this was so nice and I don't I forgot how much I missed it. So I'm gonna try to film more. We'll see. We I'm gonna try, okay? I love filming YouTube videos and I'm gonna try, try, try my best to keep filming because I do love it and I do wanna grow as a YouTuber and I'm so sorry that I've been like so just not posting. It's been rough. 
but I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, please. And comment down below any videos you guys want to see. These are the videos I have planned. I'm going to have my my roommates pick out my outfits for a week. I think. I think. The odds of that are actually very slim. I want to do a day in the life of a college student. I want to do like a week in the life of like a, the dance major and stuff like that. I think I might do the week of a life of a dance major this week. I don't know. But I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Last but not least, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Or whenever you're watching this. Bye.